Hi, everybody. I'm Tirza Watts, the Director of Student Life. Welcome back to another episode of the Inside Scoop with Student Life. I'm excited to have Addison Lemons with us today. He's visited with us in a previous video, um, but I want to invite him to reintroduce himself again. Hi, everybody. My name is Addison Lemons. I use he, him pronouns, and I serve as our Assistant Director for Student Orgs, working with our Student Org program, but also working with our Sorority and Fraternity Life program, and I'm really excited to talk about that today. Awesome. So folks, if you have not um, learned about sororities and fraternities on campus, we'll dig into a little bit about how do you investigate this and decide, do I want to join a group? Am I interested? But also want to give you a brief little history before we jump into that. Um, CU Denver Student Government Association actually requested that our office add these types of groups about eight years ago. And so we started in January. It took a while to get that approved and then to recruit groups and then the pandemic happened. Um, but we invited um, four groups to start last semester. We had two accept new members um, and we have three groups starting this fall. And so um, Addison, can you tell us a little bit um, about your undergraduate experience in a fraternity because you were actually in one. Let's start there. Absolutely. So when I started my college journey, I didn't really know a lot of people. I was really looking to get involved, but wasn't really sure where to start. And I kind of decided to get my feet wet a little bit my first semester and not really join anything. And then my second semester, I joined an organization called Phi Gamma Delta. And it was an incredible experience. Some of my greatest friends to this day were members I met in that organization. It also really helped me discover my leadership potential and really kickstarted my career in higher ed and honestly got me got me to where I am today. I was able to serve in several different leadership roles within the with the organization, as well as join national philanthropies, connect with alumni all over the country, and like I said, really help get me to where I am right now. So it was an incredible experience, and I highly recommend for anybody, even if you don't think it's for you, because I certainly wasn't one that said, hmm, fraternity and story of life, that's definitely me. But after meeting some of these individuals and realizing how much deeper it goes than what we see on TV, it was an incredible decision for me. Well, I will share that I was not in a sorority in undergrad and was also like, eh, I don't think that's for me. As a graduate student, I got to work with bringing a new sorority onto the campus um, that I was doing my master's work at and actually really enjoyed that experience. And um, many years later, I went back to that campus to work and they invited me to become a member since I'd helped establish their chapter. Um, and so was uh, joined a sorority in my mid twenties. Um, as an advisor and really wished once I knew more about it that I had actually done it as an undergrad. Um, and so I'm a member of Alpha Phi, which actually is the sorority that we brought to our campus. Um, so excited to have them here as well. Well, let's jump into how will a new student, what's the best way to find out about these groups if you're curious? Absolutely. Well, you can always check us out on our on our website. We have a dedicated sorority and fraternity life section on our student life website. But one of the best ways is an event coming up this coming Monday, September 12th. It is from 5 to 7 p.m. and it is in the Student Commons building, specifically room 2600. Uh, this is kind of like uh, an info session, essentially. You will hear from Tears and I. You'll learn a little bit more about the program as a whole, what this all entails. We'll do a really fun activity, and then you will also have a chance to hear from the individual groups themselves. There will be several breakout rooms. Each organization will have their own room, and that's a great chance to, to learn more about them, learn about their values, kind of what they are looking for in new members and what you might be looking for, too. It's really your chance to interview them as well. Many of our students um, qualify identity-wise for multiple organizations, so it's a great chance to kind of figure out, this group really seems like it's for me, or they seem like nice people, but maybe not. I'm more, more leaning towards this group, things like that. And you also may decide maybe sorting of turning life really is for me and you were just on the fence before, but this is a great way, whether you're certain you want to join a sorting of attorney or you're really not sure, to kind of get a sense of what the program's all about. Great, thank you. Um, one of the other things that I know that I've had students ask that are, that are firm, like, hey, I really do want to do this. Um, how do you sign up to go through the recruitment process? Absolutely. Great question. We have a form on my links called Sorority and Fraternity Life Recruitment Registration. So that can be found both on my links just by searching that form's name, or you can also find it on our Student Life website as well. That's another great place to find it. Essentially, that form is our way of, of you saying, I am interested in Sorority and Fraternity Life, even if you're a little bit on the fence, like we mentioned, it is a non-binding non form. It's just a way for us to know, okay, this individual is interested. That way we can get you the information you need, make sure you meet those qualifications. And then we can also provide your information to the groups as well, so they can reach out to you with their individual schedules. That form needs to be filled out by September 14th at 5 p.m. That's this coming Wednesday. 
Once that's done, Tears and I will run grade checks and do all these eligibility things. And then we will pass along your information to the groups that you've indicated you're interested in. And then they will indicate uh, what their recruitment schedule looks like as well. Some people might have a week worth of events and then decide that that's their recruitment uh, time is over and they will extend offers to people. Some might do one or two events for a month. It really depends on the individual organization. So by filling out this form, this allows us to provide your information to those groups and then they can communicate their individual recruitment schedules. Great, thank you. Um, folks that are watching this video, I do wanna let you know that um, CU Denver made the decision when we started our program to require that you have a 2.5 GPA. So that means if you're a first ever first time college student, you have just come here, you've never been to college anywhere else, um, you have to wait one semester. Does that mean if you're a first semester uh, student that you can't come to the info session? No, we would love for you to come to the info session. Come and attend that um, next Monday so that you can learn more because these groups will do recruitment each fall and spring. So they will also be looking to take in new members in the spring as they have vacancies or they may do a full push again each semester. Um, so you can come check them out, but you do have to have a 2.5 GPA. Um, and the other thing is um, our transfer students, if you are a brand new transfer student, so you've already attended college for a semester or a year somewhere else, we make the assumption that you had a good enough GPA to get into CU Denver, you most likely had a 2.5 or higher, um, and you may participate as a new transfer student immediately, you do not need to wait, just those first time ever students, we want you to wait that one semester. Um, so I want to put that out there. Um, anything else you can think of that our audience would need to know to check out sororities and fraternities next week? The last thing I would say is just that even if you are really not sure, you think this is probably not for me, I really don't know. I really encourage you to attend the, the info session anyway on this coming Monday because you may be surprised at what you learn. We do have several groups that are identity-based as well. They're not what you would imagine, and it really can be an incredible experience, especially for your post-college journey as well. Many of these organizations, they have alumni all over the country. So whether you stay in Denver, you move back home, or you move to a brand new city where you knew no one like I've done before, you're going to find alumni that can help you with job connections or even just friendships and help you kind of point in you the right way. So even if you're on the fence, I really encourage you to attend the session on Monday just to get a sense of everything. Awesome, folks. So again, that's Monday at 5 p.m. in room 2600 Student Commons. You can just show up. If you want to let us know you're coming, I will link below. Addison mentioned um, where you could sign up to come to that info session. That just helps us plan numbers, but you can just show up. Um, but if you do want to actually go through the recruitment process, um, I will also link the recruitment um, registration link. And when you do log into my links, this is one where you'll have to log in. So remember on the top hand, top right side of the website, um, there's a place to log in the little head icon. And once you log in, you can search for those forms and they'll pop right up for you. So Addison, thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much, Tirza. All right. Bye, everybody.